we at right now? In the middle of nowhere. Okay. In, in? Your new shop? Yeah. Finally got myself a shop to work out of. And uh, with christening the new shop, Carl did a burnout. I'll put that video right up next. But I also uh, came upon myself, couldn't help myself, just start tearing this thing apart because one, it wasn't running quite right. No, I had to pull you back a couple times. Yeah, and then uh, that was long. two, why not uh, Chris in the shop with uh, with the first uh, first ever uh, engine ripping out of and uh, tear down and that kind of stuff. I'll uh, go over to the other side and show you guys what I found with this engine. So here I got this uh, wonderful oil filter, um, brand not specified, probably an STP, but <laughs> uh, we got quite a bit of metal in there, so that's never good. This uh, this engine was it's a six liter, by the way, for if you don't know what engines in here. I don't know how the truck all the way four hours on the reserve up here so uh i had a i had a situation earlier this summer uh, i mean earlier this year actually last year at this point where uh oh yeah this last year now where uh you know i was driving this truck around uh you know like the week or two after i bought it it was uh losing coolant for some reason and uh, I decided to put a new cap on it, but it was off of a, a semi truck. And if you don't know anything about semi trucks, the uh, fill cap for the coolant is different from the uh, like uh, breather cap. So they got a breather cap, a fill cap. Well, six O's they have just a, a reservoir, tank. reservoir tank with a spring on the cap, so it purges at a certain pressure. Well, I put sealed semi cap on it i blew out the radiator that kind of stuff well i was at a napa driving to work driving back to work grabbing some parts and um my uh coolant pipes just decided to burst off and i lost all coolant and in part i uh ended up getting the uh engine oil temp to 300 degrees somewhere on there so uh, I think I think I fried some bearings. My uh, IPR valve kept getting clogged. So and uh, kept get, uh, going through screens and that kind of stuff. So um, I think this motor is donezo, and uh, it's time for a new one. Uh, I'm thinking about just throwing a, a Cummins engine in it, 12 valve, 24 valve. Who knows at this point. Of yeah, and then uh, with that, with uh, with the uh, Cummins engine, I think I'm gonna put a manual in it right away, because uh, if you guys know me, I can't leave an automatic in a truck. Hence this truck. No and longer keep an automatic going. Yeah, and then the OBS Ford out front, and then uh, you know, we did some persuasion to Carl to uh <laughs> do a five speed yeah, yeah do a do a five speed in his uh f-150 but yeah uh, it only took an aod that i had to do and then i didn't like it and then i said okay it's fine i'll put the five speed in that i had sitting for ever so uh yeah welcome to the new shop i'm gonna pull this engine out as soon as i get a hoist or some type of uh lifting mechanism uh, figure it out here um, got the essentials for the shop got this this bench for so I can crawl over the front of the truck got a creeper brand new creeper from Rural King 
Got, got some new jack stands too. Cause uh, you know, Harbor Freight, it's kind of sketchy, but I also need two more for working on the front. It's always sketchy if it goes pop, and then you look at it, and it doesn't move. You're doing all right. If it falls on you, then it was sketchy. Yeah, yeah, well, we don't want things falling on me, so, but. I walk with things the right way too, so. I got a chimney here, so I can plumb up a, uh, wood burning furnace you know I got for the time being I, I got a propane heater going and that kind of stuff so just to keep us warm for now it's not even that cold out it's only like 40 something degrees but still you want to be around 60 ish 50 low 50s hot low to mid 50s whatever uh, there's a bunch of mouse turds everywhere Got the Dodge in here too. Got to figure out this little door here. Uh, one of the one of the cables is missing, so it's kind of kind of tricky to get it. But the two people you can get it. Two people in some vice grips you can get it. And then uh, yeah, shop tour. Uh, back here I got a, a big sliding door. Yeah, I got a, a big sliding door, so uh, back here, creepy. back here's a, a dirt floor barn, and uh, I'll just use that for storage, but as you can see, all my stuff laid out here. I haven't quite gotten settled in, I just moved in like probably three days ago, three days ago or something like that. This uh, barn door right here, this... Uh, little man door right here was boarded up so uh did the vice grip garage trick right here threw some vice grips on it pretty secure all right it's it's dark outside now i'd give you a tour of the full property but i thought you were doing that one you know it's pretty nice out here pretty Pretty nice out here in the sticks. Oh yeah. Another shop mod is uh, I did these these LED pods. Really brighten it up. Uh, you see, I only got four four fixtures for for lights. Yeah, that one, like yeah, that one was like sixty bucks, so I only got one. These were like thirty bucks, but there were two for one deal. So. Yeah, welcome to the new shop. If you're uh, new, which most people watching this is are new, so. I'm always new, every day. But this is a new shop introduction to a, a new Fummins build. I, I also got some awesome wheels and tires on this thing. Some uh, Ion 167s and some Ion 171s. Yeah, it's pretty ironic. <laughs> but they, they stick out quite a bit. Nice 35s on it. But, yeah. Welcome to the new shop. <laughs>